you know, Haley, maybe you can cook muffins and scones and pastries, but can you do this? Yeah, I didn't think so. So in case you couldn't tell by my kitchen scene, this week we are cooking with Nightly. We're just supposed to cook something and relate it to Nightly. I got news for you. I can't cook. But, I'm going to make a valiant effort. There's really only one thing I know how to cook anyway. I'm making a fried egg sandwich. Yum. That, it looks disgusting. It's really easy to make though. But it, it tastes pretty good, even if the looks aren't so appealing. So, what you need? You need some, some delightful eggs. Uh, some butter. Try to make a tub. You just need to grease it up. And, of course, two knives. <laughs> you actually only need one, but I'm neurotic and I don't like the butter knife to touch the eggs. But I use it. Yeah, I'm just... I'm weird. I'm sorry. But you know that already. So, first what I'm going to do here is I, I turn the oven on so there's fire going and I'm getting the pan all hot. And um, you put some butter in it. I'm going to take some butter. There's a glare. Okay, well, it's butter, right? I guarantee you. And just kind of take a decent amount, let it fall in there. Ooh, nice and smoky, smoky butter. Yeah, no, it's not healthy. If you're looking for something healthy, you have to roll too much smoke. Okay, it's like it's gonna go to me. I'm scared. This has never happened before. This should not be happening. I guess I let it get a little too hot. Yeah. Let's try that again. Wow, that just disintegrated. I had it on while I was getting the, my crap together, and I guess I let it get a little too hot. That's okay. We all have. Oh my god. See, that's not. This is an example of why I don't cook. And an example of why I don't know how to cook stuff like this happens to me. And then things catch on fire. And then, you know, I'm rolling and stopping and rolling some more. And, you know, I'm dropping to the ground. It's a whole big fiasco. So, wait a minute. Okay, I don't really know what to do to cool this down. Bear with me. Will this work? I hope this works. Hey, that works. But now I've got disgusting butter stuff in. I feel really bad. Now it's all wet. See, this is confusing. And I don't have another pan. Okay. Let's try this again. Put some butter in there. Let it simmer and sizzle. You gotta grease the pan so the egg doesn't stick. That's the whole purpose of this. And just so you know. Yeah, that's, that's better. It's not, you know, trying to engulf me in flame. Which is always, always a plus. So just try and move it around. And, um get bored. Okay, so now that the pan is all greased up, I'm gonna, you're gonna take your other knife that didn't touch the butter and crack an egg. This is the fun part. Um, yeah, okay, see? You gotta be really like quick like a samurai with it, just like Wolverine and just be like, Whoop. okay, I missed. Sigh, that was fail. Okay, there we go. Let's see, how do I crack this for the camera? And I'm just going to kind of lift it open. Now, if your egg actually lands in the um, pan, you're pretty much done. I mean, you don't really have to do much else. Um, see, I like my yolk to be kind of spread out, so I crack it. Crack the yolk, and then it gets all dispersed. But, you know, whatever floats your boat, different strokes for different folks. So, with the magic of my ability to speed up time, whoa ha 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 Boogie, 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 boom! Oh, I, I made time speed up, now it's done. That is one fried egg. I actually kind of like them burnt a little. Kind of overdone. So, if you notice, that's kind of why it's a little brown. Why? But, you know, gives a little crunch, gives it some, some crispy flavor that you can really just nom nom down on. 
So yeah, that's what it looks like. You just kind of flip it over. Voila! Okay, now I'm going to turn this off because you don't want the alarm to go off. So, you've successfully made your egg. What's next, you ask? Bum ba dum bum, bum ba dum, bum ba dum bum, bum ba dum bum, bum bum bum. It's time to toast your bread. All right. I generally like two pieces of toast. One for each. Okay, two pieces of toast. One for each side of the egg. Sand, you know. So yeah, I will stick the pieces of bread in the toaster and use my magical time speeding up powers to make them finish really quickly. Voila! It's done! The magical toast has sprung out of the magical oven with my magical time speeding up powers. And the toast is done. So, what I did while, uh... Well, I'm just gonna multitasking. So, what I did was I laid a simple piece of American cheese on top of the egg to give it a little flavor. So, you put one piece of the bread down, kinda scoop the... scoop it on kind of wiggle it and shiggle it and any way you can get that frickin' thing off. There we go. Then we put the other piece of toast on and you have a sandwich! We have successfully made a sandwich. I hope you are all proud of yourselves, Shredder Niners, because together we have successfully, successfully made an authentic Spanish dish. It's not Spanish, and I'm not Spanish. I just found a sombrero in the closet, and I really, really wanted to put my sombrero on. So yeah, that's um, that's how I do things. Uh, top of the morning to y'all, and uh, hope you have a good rest of the week. You know, if only I had a giraffe hat on and some funny sunglasses, I would be like, I would be like Robin, I eat in front of camera, and saw so nom really lovely, like Robin does, which is an interesting fact we learned last time on Vlog TV. Hats off to you, Robin. That's good.